Yeah, hi, we're the Grant and Sharp family from Top Farm Hubbard's Bridge. Uh, we originally came up with a couple of ideas. One was a dragon and a dinosaur, and we couldn't see how we could support the framework for the, for the necks and the tails, so we came up with the idea of the woolly mammoth. The straw came from the crop that was sold to Weetabix. The NFU are involved as well. They realised that there was a link there between the community and, and bringing farmers to be family friendly. Education, isn't it, more than anything? It is. There's so many children that don't link the farm and what goes on with the farm with the food that's on the plate. So, yeah, I went into them at school and, you know, one of my first questions was, who eats Weetabix, you know, and they were, yes! <laughs> have something like this that captures their imagination straight away and connecting the two, it's brilliant. It's really brought the community, I think, closer to the farm. Join in with Weetar! I'm Georgia. And I'm David. And I'm Iris. And uh, here we are at Fillmore Grange today viewing uh, our bale sculpture. We saw the entry form and uh, thought it would be an interesting thing for us to do. And uh, Henry, the youngest one, he's uh, at university doing a degree in history. He had the historical input. Georgia's uh, designer, so she had some design input. And the missing members of the construction team are my eldest son, James, and his fiancée, uh, Jess. Yeah. Jessica actually is a willow weaver, so her input was eagle at the top of the structure. I was in charge of the forklift. Yes. Uh, yeah. So the main communication was James to me, and then the artistic input was shouted from the sides. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'd encourage anyone to get involved in the art competition. Everyone sort of remarked on the fact they're still standing, and when they drive past the lane, it's quite impressive. Well, I think it's great that a company as big as Weetabix have decided to sponsor something like that because it helped to raise the profile of farming generally, I'm sure. Hi, I'm Clough. Uh, this is my partner, Claire, and we live here at Crockhall Farm, Bispam Green. In the village, every year they have a walking day, and Cliff, historically, has always made a bale sculpture out of hay bales, just as a bit of fun. So we saw the advertisement, and we decided to enter. When Joe was born, everybody was buying in teddy bears as presents, and then you thought of uh, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, who's been eating my porridge, but in this case, Weetabix. Lots of people in the village have said, what a good, a good thing it is, you know, cause everybody goes past smiling away at it. Well, we've been thinking about next year. We have year, got one. We? Connection with the Olympics, I think. I hope I'm not giving too much away there. All the wheat for Weetabix is sourced in this country. It's good for the people to find out those sort of things. Do you like your bale? 